The sky here in New York and across much of northeast US and eastern Canada should have been blue. Instead, it was filled with some of the most polluted air on the planet. As wildfire smoke drifted southwards from parts of Ontario and Quebec, also limiting temperature rise, making for a cooler day than we'd have expected. And that smoke has been visible on the satellite imagery from space. This is cloud, the white area. This is as well. But in between this haze of white and brown, that's your wildfire smoke been drifting southwards and eastwards. And this area of brown has been where that smoke and the pollution has been particularly dense and thick, drifting across New York City again through Wednesday afternoon. Now, whilst we've got that flow coming from the north to south, we continue to feed in the wildfire smoke while those fires burn. And that looks likely over the next few days. This area of cloud is an area of low pressure. It's centered to the east of Canada. The wind's flowing in this direction around it, hence why we're dragging all that uh, polluted air from the north to the south and back out into the Atlantic. Over the next few days, that area of low pressure weakens, but we've still got a fairly slight flow which continues to feed down further bouts of wildfire smoke. And where the winds fall light, the air will stagnate. A few splashes of blue, an indication there will be some sporadic storms around that will help to wash out some of the pollutants, but not enough to help those fighting the wildfires. And as high pressure builds in across northern Canada, it looks like the dry weather for many will dominate all the way through to the end of next week. And that means these major cities, whilst those fires continue to burn, will be susceptible to further bouts of wildfire smoke all the way into next week.